good day to you today the word and the vision from the lord came as the anointing the authority god gives the head of the house to keep the thief out you can say with me in jesus name head of the house keep the thief out so if the head of the home the lord jesus said in luke 12 is alert and awake <coughs> the thief thief cannot tunnel in uh, the disasters pandemics we are hoping to keep them out uh, and it depends on what you consider your house is of course you are a family man you are dad home mom at home then that becomes your home and house then your church house and then also uh, we have the promise no plague shall come nigh your dwelling place so what is your tent of dwelling uh, your neighbors your workplace your relatives friends as you take authority as you take ownership stop the criticism stop the political banter and get on to governing with god in prayer with the kingdom authority then you say thief you are not going to come and steal from under my hand uh, may every christian family prayer arise to this and then there was a special emphasis on christian marriage i saw a young lady and a young man going up to the altar and there were other things that go to the wedding but there was this concentration of the lord's favor on them and ruth 4:11 was read over them that they'll be like uh, uh, leah and rachel who built the build israel and that uh, if the lord builds unless the lord builds the house they labor in vain who try to build their own house so we all get together and build the lord's house according to psalm 127 and then we have the favor uh, on our house and on our church house everything and then unless the lord keeps watch the watchman labor in vain so when the lord keeps watch the city is kept the house is kept people are kept uh, this is the promise we want to hold on to most of the exposition comes from luke chapter 12 verse 31 seek his kingdom and these things will be added to you so these things are the housing it goes on what the heathens uh, and do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink uh, how much more will he clothe you you men of little faith and do not keep worrying all these things the nations of the world eagerly seek so there is a momentum of the world seeking what they want driving the globe but there is the momentum your father knows that you need these things but seek his kingdom and these things will be added to you and as the world nations seek their own thing the consumer is extravagance and the world runs down god's people seek his kingdom his favor and world run, world runs up for so your city runs up for so it's a battle city by city in a nation how is the house of god doing in your city in our city colombo we cried out to the lord oh kalambu oh kalambu how i decide to bring you as a, as as a hen under my feathers yes that's how we like to look after our city how about you so stop the political banter and uh, and and blame transferring we take authority we take responsibility we take accountability for our city that's what we will do seek his kingdom and these things will be added unto you so we know that na- nations of the world seek and create momentum but we seek the kingdom of god and we say let that be the governing anointing governing anointing over all this for all these things the nations of the world it is but your father knows that you need these things but seek his kingdom and these things will be added unto you do not be afraid little flock so because the church keeps thinking in significant small and weak this way gideon said but the lord assured gideon three times i am with you gideon i go with you gideon uh, so we, we we are not going to say do not be afraid little flock the lord says for your father has chosen gladly to give you the kingdom so he has chosen us to give the kingdom but seeking what you seeking the kingdom is our business giving it gladly is his business and if there's a gap between how he chooses and how we seek what a tragedy that will be so let his choosing and our seeking come together yes seeking 
uh, sell your position, give it to charity, make yourselves money bags that will not wither away. See, the treasures that will last. Do not wear out unfailing treasure where no thief can come, no moth destroys. That's what we are going for. Uh, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be. That's the momentum of your life would be where for the treasure. So we name the treasure as what God thinks is treasure. That's how the head of the home keeps the anointing and the authority. Head of which home? Your family, your workplace, the so position you have, God has placed you in life. Daniel, Mordecai, Joseph, Nehemiah, God, the place God placed you. Position God placed you. Be dressed in readiness and keep your lamps lit. And another one says, gird your loins, take up your staff, and uh, let your lamp be burning. Yes, yesterday we saw a vision of those who are being recruited by Gideon. A belt of truth was tied tight around them and their flesh fell off and their lamp, the torch was made ready. Be like men who are waiting for their master when he returns from the wedding feast so that they may immediately open the door to him when he comes and knocks. So, we want to be those who keep hearing with the master and when we hear the time, his knock, we say the door is open and God opens the doors for a nation. New innovation, when heads of states don't know what to do, Christians say, we know one who can open the door. May you rise into such position in your nation in your city. Blessed are those slaves, verse 37, Luke 12, verse 37, whom the master will find on the alert when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will gird himself to serve and have them recline at the table and will come and wait on them. Whether he comes in the second watch or third watch, uh, watch, if the head of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have allowed his house to be broken. So we are watching as head of house. Make your, what you call your house, include many in that, your city in that, your sector of your city, depending on your calling. And uh, let, it, take it on, take it on, take it on. If it's a big city, it means an apostle. If it's a small city, the pastor's anointing is enough. Uh, so it depends. And if you're a pastor in a big city, then seek an apostle under whose apostolic direction you will function. That's how the Lord meant the church to be. Finally, I want to read the prophecy, the verse, Ruth, Ruth prophecy, how God builds nations out of famine into prosperity. You remember, Bethlehem was in famine, but Boaz and Ruth start building it back to significance. All the people who were in the court and the elders said, Ruth 4.11, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your home like Rachel and Leah, both of whom build the <coughs> house of Israel, and may you achieve wealth in Ephrata and become famous in Bethlehem. So, this is the promise to us as we consider the Lord's house. And Lord builds our house and Lord builds a nation through us. God bless you. Keep you.